Every day they dig, they find more bodies. Members of the Good News International Church apparently told to starve themselves to death in order to meet Jesus. More than 200 bodies have been discovered in a forest there of people, including children, thought to starve to death while under the influence of a cult run by an evangelical pastor. Shock has gripped Kenya following the discovery of mass graves linked to a religious cult. Police are investigating Pastor John Mackenzie Ndenge, who's accused of directing his followers to starve themselves to death so they could meet Jesus. Devastation engulfs Malindi Hospital in Kenya as families and friends gather to identify bodies recovered from Shakahola Forest. Police have found whole families here. When it comes to religion, I think there is a thin line between faith and desperation. The 50-year-old former taxi driver has been accused of ordering his followers to starve themselves to death. Sources say he told his adherents the world was going to end on April 15 and Satan would rule for a thousand years. There are several numbers of uh, shallow graves. I saw one that was almost two feet deep. There were five bodies inside, which I did count. And at the same time, there were body bags in another tent. Salema rescued her five children from a Christian doomsday cult. She was told they must starve so they could see Jesus. The Kenyan government has described the deaths as a massacre. The president, William Ruto, comparing Pastor Paul McKenzie to a terrorist. His cult became the focus of national horror with the recent discovery of more than 100 bodies, mostly children, in mass graves in the Shakahola forest of southeast Kenya. There are so many victims that the hospital had to find extra storage facilities. 33-year-old Timothy Nakulunda is yet to find his mother-in-law, who was a follower of the arrested Pastor Paul Thenge Mackenzie of the Good News Church.